Kristen is calling all the way from Australia. Uh, Kristen, thank you so much for tuning in and listening. How are you? I'm all right, Brian. It's um, 6.30 in the morning here, though, so I might not be totally coherent, but I'm glad to talk to you. Thank you for calling in and listening from Australia. I appreciate you. What's on your mind today? Um, well, I am American, uh, but I've been living in Australia for about 20 years now. Um, I did watch the debate the first 15 minutes, but I had to turn it off. I could not listen to Vance mm. anymore. He just reminds me so much of like that creepy guy in high school that all the girls stayed away from. <laughs> I just like, I just couldn't, you know. But it's beside the point. I've been listening to what your other callers have been saying as well. But I guess the reason I call is because... I have the outsider's perspective here, and um, even though I am still American, and the view from outside is really dire. Um, the rest of the world, I feel like, is genuinely afraid of another Trump USA. It does affect us. It, it affects the rest of the world. For better or worse, what happens in the U.S. affects all of us. The other 7.5 billion people on this planet are affected by what Trump will do over there. Um, I like to say, and I have been saying for about the last nine years, he's like a malignant cancer that's been spreading. And it's been affecting people here. Like, it's affecting relationships here, all the way on the other side of the planet. You know, during COVID, all those weirdo sort of cave dwellers that you never hear from have been feeling empowered by him. So, you know, the neo-Nazis and the bigots and the freaks and the weirdos have been coming out literally flying Trump flags. I'm seeing them here. You know, well, they have their protests and their rallies, <clears throat> excuse me, anti-immigration, all of that. They're flying flags with Trump's face on it. And in Australia, you know, it doesn't make any sense, but these people buy into his mentality and it's affecting us here as well. I can definitely feel a shift um, in, in attitudes in, in people here uh, who support him. You know, the place just isn't as friendly as it used to be. And one of your previous callers said they want joy and nice. It'd be good for the White House, but it would be good for the whole world. Um, yeah. it, it's really affecting everybody. Um, and, and sorry, I don't want to take up all your time. I have so many thoughts about this, but it's just that it, it's doing a serious damage to the U.S.'s credibility around the world. Um, and there are frequent conversations here, at least, about do we remain – so closely aligned to the U.S. if this guy is in charge. Yeah. We live in China's backyard, you know, and up until now, we've always counted on the U.S. as sort of like the buffer between us and them. Right. But now there's talk about aligning more towards China. And we, we're already seeing that in the smaller Pacific nations and some of, the, some, of the, some of the less wealthy nations around the world who feel like they can't rely on the U.S. anymore. So they're turning to China for things. Um, this is what this guy's going to do. You know, he's going to, he's going to shift the balance of power in the entire world. And I think people really need to think about that. It's not just what happens over there. You know, you bring up a um, really, it, really good perspective and a good point because people think it only affects the United States of America if Donald Trump is reelected. No, it doesn't. You're living in Australia and you're absolutely right. This affects the entire world. First of all, the love letters that he sends to somebody like Kim Jong-un, for whatever reason, uh, not rooting for Ukraine to win this war. He won't even answer the question. He always seems to side with Vladimir Putin. Uh, he did nothing but praise the president of China during COVID, which I thought was an abomination. For some reason, he sucks up to evil, murderous dictators and then world leaders uh, all over the world. Many of them who for, for and they're right. They don't respect Donald Trump and they shouldn't. Um, so this is uh, bad, not just for America. You're absolutely right. It's bad for people all over the world, including you. And, you know, I'm so glad you called and gave your perspective. And we need to remember that. What would you say to somebody in America that would say to you living in Australia, this doesn't affect you. Stay out of American politics. What would you say to them? Uh, I can easily answer that because the last 20 years I've been hearing that. And um it does affect me um, because, first of all, all my family is still there. All my lifelong friends are still there. You know, what happens in the U.S. economy affects us here. If the U.S. gets sucked into a war, Australian troops end up going, too. You know, we, it affects everybody. Yeah. I mean, the yep. U.S., I mean, I, I know the attitude because I'm from there. I know that people in the U.S. believe it's the greatest place on earth and it's the world leader. And, and the thing is, it is. Uh, everybody follows us. And there's only... When you think about who wants Trump to win from outside, it's China, it's Russia, it's North Korea, it's Iran. You can think about that. Why do they want him 
and and mm. everybody else doesn't. That's such a great point. I mean, yeah, it's just they 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 want him because they know that the U.S. will tear itself apart from the inside. Um, it's it's deliberate, and um, it it affects everybody, and it affects the people I I care about that I grew up with. Mm. And by the way, as an aside. I still do a tax return to the U.S. because it's the only country in the world that doesn't care where you live. Yeah. So, and I can still vote there. So it matters to me. Well, it matters you know, to me. And I'm, 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 me. I'm so glad you called in from Australia. It humbles me that you listen uh, in Australia. Please call back again. Uh, great phone call. And everything you said, uh, I completely agree with. And, and we need to hear from people like you as well. Even though you're not going to be voting. All right. We need to hear from people like I you. I did. No. Oh, you are? I did vote. I, I, I yeah, I send an absentee ballot. Oh, you do? I don't okay. know whether or not it's going to get counted. I was unaware. 100%. I was unaware. And uh, so your vote oh, yeah. your vote counts as well. Whether it counts or not, your opinion certainly matters. And uh, I'm so glad you called in, uh, my dear. Thank you so much.